<laughs> oh, good eye and welcome. Oh. Oh, you know when a dream turns into a nightmare? Right here. Now, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I am at TP Hut right now. Ti not TP Hut, sorry, Tiger Hut. That has been one of the places on Ko Chang. I don't know if you remember my very, very early vlogs of the Paul Smith apartment right here in the woods. And that apartment, that bungalow, seems to be the only one that survived the Rona as the rest, so you can see even the little ickle one, all these set back in the woods have, oh man, not only have they come abandoned in the last three years, they're actually become a bit of an eyesore. They've become an abandonment, almost, almost abandoned and totally in disarray, desperate for a young YouTuber or some old geezer like me to come along and rebuild one. Now that has been the dream since day one. <sighs> Sinkhole. <laughs> Be careful where you walk. <sighs> so for the last week or so, I've been coming here. Since I've been coming back to Ko Chang, I come and keep an eye on this place. Um, just on the off case, once I reach a certain level of income and knowing what I want to do and where I want to be based, then the idea was to have a bungalow, one of these right here this would be where i'd like to be but this all this hardcore has been brought in in the last week so i don't know what's happening i don't know i have found out that tiger the owner not the owner originally found out mr tiger was the owner a policeman we have a little bit of corruption to his name was the landowner he is not unfortunately oh man we've got some sun let's get in the sun as the tide is going out. <laughs> oh, wouldn't, you like, wouldn't you like to just have one of these old bungalows right here? How long they're going to be here for, I really don't know. It looks like there may be a developer building in there. Oh, what a wonderful place to live. Have this view of the morning. Beautiful beach, man. And there's hardly any waste that gets brought up on this beast. Beast on this beast of a beach. I haven't vlogged for a few days, guys, and today, this vlog ain't about me. This vlog ain't about my life, no. No, it's not. I just want to show you my dream. And I'm hoping, because where I think all this is going to turn into something, it may get developed year after year after year, but I have found out that Mr. Tiger is the leaseholder, and his lease is coming up for a renewal. So I don't want to take the lease. No, I want to buy or take a private lease of this one. That's the dream right there. That is my perfect, perfect home for the future. Yes, it is. And if you look at the neighbors, they've built this cedar fence there out of all this sandstone, which is actually working. That is a really good, good bit of land. And it is, it's just like dog walkers land right there. And ladies, scantily clad. Oh man, how come I'm drawn? It's not me, it's the camera. It's drawing me towards scantily clad chick laying on the beach. Never know, she might be dreaming of a, of a masculine man. You, you just don't know. But what a lovely bit of land this is, where you can come, as people do, and walk your dog. Now some cheeky sod has put these sunbeds out there the last week or so, <laughs> hoping to get lucky. And you know what? He's got lucky because two people have rented them. <laughs> he, that's probably him and his living for the day. But you've you got to take your hat off to these people. They just try it on. And that's it. What a lovely little lake. And there's a bigger lake through there. Don't know what's happening to this land. It's been like this for the last three years, uh, just being kept. That is pretty good might develop into something but look at the view man look at the view through the palm trees along the beach it's pretty good let's check the doors up you want it darling 
You all right? Good. <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> you never know. If you never ask the question, you'll never know the answer, will you? You won't. But look, so that's my dream, guys. I'm sharing my dream with you because I could continue this seat defence. I'll have my yacht parked there. Just there, my yacht, right there. I can continue this sea defence right here. Dig this in proper solid. Put some more footings off so I can have a great big balcony coming right out here with no shade. No! <laughs> Let's have a look at my future house. This is where one day I might break my neck. So it's still relatively solid. It is. So you want to see what I'm going to look at every morning when I get up? That is going to be my view. It is. In the morning, in the afternoon, and of course, in the night. What a cool spot. Be watching the sunrise up there. I'll be seeing the sunset over there. And I'll be seeing all the storms happening out there. I'll be at a kayak out to there, and there, and there. Put some lobster pots somewhere along here. <laughs> Once I've found where the rocks are. What a cool spot. I could even have a bed right there. Could. Ain't going to take much to refurb this, is it? It's all built there. Bed. Wow, oh, man. It's a bit rickety. It's a bit rackety. But it has a toilet. And it has a sink. And it has somewhere to fit a shower. Whoa, you could even build up here, look. So you can have an attic bed up there, another little bed, or a grow. <laughs> but one thing's for sure, you can imagine a big balcony over here, right all over there. Wicked. It's dream, man. Gotta have a dream, man. If you don't have a dream, then how are you gonna have a dream come true? That's right. That is right, boy. Right. Today I'm off to Bangkok. My last day on coaching. So I just thought I would share with you. Um, I walk this. This is my walk every day. I walk up to Tiger Huts and then walk this beach all the way long, right down to the uh, Blue Lagoon, and then walk to my apartment and have a shower. But the day is turning out pretty cool. What a wicked day. What a wicked place to be on a beach to have your dream come true. Well one day. So, that's why I keep coming back to Koh Chang, because I, I, I really like it here. The drivers on the road are okay. Um, the Thai ones, some of the tourists are a bit, but you get used to that, you know, to avoid them. <laughs> the Thai drivers are all right. They're not right up your chuff. The VIP, it's all right, it's got a, it's all right. As much as I like Pattaya, Phuket, the driving, wow well, man, on the roads, bit of a nightmare, especially on Phuket. They were on the yellow. Right, I shall see you at the bus stop. Time check, as I am waiting to get picked up between 12.20 and 12.40, to go to the bus station, to go to Bangkok. It is now 12.42, so I am concerned. <laughs> oh, man, I am, I am concerned. I did arrange to get picked up outside the band camp. Chang, elephant camp. And where I've been staying, the apartment down there, <laughs> when I arrived, the Ban Rim Klong apartments, I've enjoyed my stay. It has been 800 baht a night, but it's been extremely peaceful. The fridge has been good. And that is where I've been staying. Oh man. So I am waiting for my bus. And I hate it every time when that time gap closes. So I'm now gonna give them a ring and make sure they haven't forgotten me. Alrighty, as soon as I got my phone out, bus man turns up. Ticket. Thank you. Do you pick up any more people? Uh, maybe 16. 16 more people? Chen Bap, Chen Big Bap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do, do I need for me, for me. Oh, for you, okay. Hop on. Hello. Hello, darling. Wow. That one's the minibus. At... Well, let me have a stab. I reckon it's 12.50. Alrighty. That'll do me, buddy. Oh, oh no, you need this one. Big one. <laughs> oh, that's the main one. Ah. So, it is five past one, and I'm now boarding the bus, which will get us to Surum Vuvi Bumi Airport at about 8 p.m. So, before you all go crying, why am I going to Surum Vuvi Bumi Airport when I really wanted to go to Ekamai? Well, the seats that the Ekamai bus at 9.30 this morning were sold out. So I basically had no choice to go to Surum Vuvi Bumi Airport at one o'clock today. And then when I get to Surabhumi Airport, I will then get to the Sky Train and take that into Ekamai. Really going to be able to journey six a dozen and half a dozen or the other, because the airport is a lot easier to get to than Ekamai. So the time that bus will be going into Bangkok, I will already be on that Sky Train. So it's six and half a dozen or the other. <laughs> Oh man, I got some weird comments on my vlog the other day. Why didn't I get the bus from Mo Chit? So I didn't want to walk to the bus station. Plus, there's no Mark Wings restaurants at Mo Chit. Plus, I was going to Ekamai <laughs> for my own reasons. Oh man, some of the comments don't half wind me up with the moon and I'm like, what are you people on? Um, the advice I get, whilst I've stood here, people are sitting in their rooms typing me advice. I find that really strange, guys. I do sort of some sort of. It is. I'm not having a go at everybody, but that's got to be some weird mental illness, right? Here I am, standing proud, living my life to the full. Yet people sat in a box, want to feel the need to give me some advice uh, about running a YouTube channel and about all sorts. I just see that stuff of the morning. I'm like, oh man, am I ever, ever going to escape that? I very much doubt it. But anyway, I believe they're waiting for me. Let's roll. Hang on, that's the drivers, mate. Do you want me to drive? The driver's side. <laughs> Won't be the first time. All righty. So the driver's side? Yes, it is. Right, I'm getting on the bus. <laughs> it is. We, we won't have a mic check. We'll have a time check. Time check is 13.44. Oh man, the day is getting away from me. And the mission tonight, today's mission is to have a happy ending in Sawyer Cowboy. Yeah, I know. I've got a hat on and everything. For today, I will be going cowboy. Anyway, we're on the ferry. We are. Yes, we're going. We're going up. We're going in. We are on. Man. And on this ferry, we do have an upstairs that is open. So one can top up his tan. And there is the other ferry just pulling away right now. Now you can buy a soup, pot noodle, you can buy crisps, you can buy some fruit and probably a fruit smoothie. You all right, ladies? Yeah. You're good? Good. Kaboom! Nice young Thai ladies. What is, that's it. Oh, we've got another deck. I'm going up. Yeah, top deck. Top deck. <laughs> oh, it's all right. No one up here. Oh, it's okay. Wicked view. Sea is very calm. Not a lot of, well, there's a little bit of wind. There is our captain. You all right, captain? I said, captain. I said, captain, I said, what? What do you want? Where's he going? He's his head up. <laughs> ah, he ain't very sensible, that captain. No. <laughs> so we're almost full up. That is our bus right there. And we will de be debarging as Ko Chang looks like he's going to go and have some rain. 
Oh, man. It's disappointing to leave, but it is what it is. Today, I've got to get, I've got to go back to work, people. I have. I've got to get my vlog on. I have. I've got to find some lyrics for a new song. I have. I've got to get it going on. <laughs> I have. So that's why I'm off to Bangkok. I don't know how long I'm going to be there for, but when I get back tonight, I might even make a vlog around the red light areas, dependent on how I go. So, <laughs> we are on the ferry about to debarge. about 2.15, we're about to land, <laughs> but I just I had to go to the toilet, I needed a wet. This is the best toilet I've found yet. It's very open plan. Yeah, 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 I'm coming, man. <laughs> My bus driver's shouting me. Right there, it's the toilet. <laughs> right there, driver's shouting me. As we're now, as soon as I get on, we're literally, Gonna get off. Kaboom. <laughs> He's shouting at me. Do you see the toilet? No, not in some Oh right there. It's open plan man. Very good, it's just very good. Alrighty. Oh man. We are deep barging. The moment. <laughs> Riveting, isn't it? <laughs> Riveting TV. All oh, right, food. Ah, it is 3.25 and we have a 30 minute break. We do, bus pulled over, we all got off. And we are in one of these massive, massive little places. Toilets over there, smoking area, shopping mall, food. Oh man, and if you really needed a pair of Whatever, I forgot what they call these, man. They're just like loads of them. Man, Toy Story, you could get these for perhaps a hundred baht. Or you can go in a shop that sell the real deal and spend about 80 to 100 quid on them. What are they called? I forgot what they're called. 200 and something baht, there you go. And you can take your pick. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Well, there is food in there, I may. I may go in there, may not. I have a concern because there is no room at the hotel this evening. The Crown, BTS, Nana, where I always like to stay, is sold out. So I'm actually now having a little look. Oh, well, we're off to Bangkok, but we've got nowhere to stay. There is no room at the inn. My mate is on, my mate Gary, he's on beer duty. Little one. <laughs> oh, I, might, I might be recalled indoors as he's filling up. Oh, it's beer o'clock time, isn't it? That's the problem. I've had one beer. <laughs> I think you've got to go in the eating area to either drink it or eat it. Oh, that's all right. He's got me a big Leo. <laughs> nice little shop. Yeah. But he's bought Big Leo. Wicked. Because where we stopped, we did stop earlier. Don't know why, but they wouldn't sell any. That was a big sea. I just managed to get some nuts. I'm coming. What we got for a menu? <laughs> what? Where's she gone? She's open. Oh, and a beer opener. Wicked. Let me go back outside. Yeah, yeah. You ready? This one? A couple. We'll go this way. We're back outside. Big Leo. <laughs> Half an hour. Oh, I'll make use, good use of the time. The thing of it is, it's a great day to be travelling though, because it's so overcast, it's really muggy, but you know, it's a good day to be travelling, isn't it? Might even, well, it looks definitely like. It's gonna rain. 
It's creeping this way, it's following us, the weather. It looks that way. Alrighty. <sighs> Intermission. Oh. Oh, beer. I don't know that the, the D apartment. What, D? D places. You know that first hotel we stayed in? On Sukkum. It's opposite. Well, Ladybird Bar is outside it. Oh, is it? That sounds interesting. <laughs> well, we, we, we'll find it. We'll have to find it, man. Okay. But I will keep ringing the Crown BTS because usually uh, they let me stay. Uh, they've got rooms that aren't fully fully operational, but they, they usually let me stay in one of them if they're fully booked. They have done before, but I, I need to get them on the phone, really. Don't want to arrive and then, oh, that ain't, ain't going to be too good. But I'll tell you what, it's really muggy, isn't it? Sweaty, muggy. Oh, man, all in a day's vlog. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. We have arrived at Suruvuri Bumi Airport. Yes, we have. We did have a couple of stops, but I didn't have time to film. All I had time to do was have a few puffs on my new pipe so I could relax on the bus. And I'll tell you what, smoking a pipe, it's a lot different to smoking a joint. I feel quite sprightly, lively. I'm not ready to fall asleep, which is good because I've got a long journey. Okay, we are off the bus. We are now at baggage recline. Before, before, this please, oh, no, no, not mine. <laughs> yes, Gary. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yes, it's mine. <laughs> and, all right, we're waiting for the back. Just stand there, I'll get your bag. Is that it? <laughs> that's, that's, it, that's me, no, no, I've got the no, computer. No, no. That's me, buddy, thank you very much. One, two, three, four. Ah. <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah. We now have to get Sky Train. I'm going to head to the basement. Back, yeah, yeah. Straight over there. Ah, oh, man, food court, man. It is good, but... <laughs> oh, you have a quick fag. All right. Smoke break. Ten past eight. The train has just arrived. For the normal, looks really busy. For the normal. Busy, busy, busy trick. <sighs> Back in to a new hotel, new location, which is going to be a bit different. We're getting off anyway, a few changes. We'll be getting off at Assok. So, um, just the same old bit really until we get there. And I'm looking forward to that happy ending in Sawyer Cowboy. We are. <laughs> Geez, what are you looking at me? <laughs> He's just stuck there looking at mozzarella. <laughs> this is a mad world. You people are nuts. What's he? What are you? What are you making a lot of noise for? <laughs> Cleaning. <laughs> Where's the mozzarella man? <laughs> He's checking. Oh, hang on, now outside, security check. They, what they do, they empty the train, and before you all get on, like we did in Uri, um, they, they've got to do a security check, so... Ah, oh, but it's all right, Gary, because we'll be first on. Mozzarella, man. I bet he's still watching his mozzarella getting sliced. Oh, no, he's, he's gone to porn now. <laughs> Ah, we're stampede. <laughs> they do this all the time, forget. Got to mind the gaps poster, look. Oh, a bit of entertainment, getting kicked off the train. So we are, we're off to Rassock. 
Hi H I Hotel. It's the name of the hotel we are heading for. Bangkok Sukhum and Vit. Other than dormitories, which were to a thousand baht for two nights for a bed in the dorm. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's happened in Bangkok. Why it's become so popular, so busy, and so expensive over over the course of a week or so. All right, go on, Gary. We're gone. <laughs> oh, the herd. <laughs> you got to be on it, mate. On it. Right. Oh, sit back and relax for a nice tube journey. 8.42 and we have arrived at I can't pronounce it. I really can't. I've tried many times, but I cannot. And we're now going downstairs <laughs> to get a ticket to go to Asok. <laughs> ah, having a little rest period. Oh man, I think I'll go down there then that way. I have been here so many times. There are so many different stairs. All right, it's now quarter to nine. But I'm sure you come down, pre a tie, pay a tie. Sounds like patio. <laughs> Up here, look, this is the end of the road. Here. So I now need to walk down there and get a ticket. Well, to get to Asok. Train fare's still the same. Oh man, from Southern Ferry, Burmy Airport to this station is just 45 baht. And then from here to Asok is just 40 baht. It is fast approaching nine o'clock. It is to Kiala. I'm just making sure it's the right train. <laughs> Gary, just, just watch that bag, please. Just have to make sure. I'm sure it is. I always ask a guard. Here come the train. Asok. Asok. Five to nine. <laughs> Good lad. It is our train. Of course it is. Perfect timing. Five to nine. So we'll see exactly how long it's a train takes. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Sit down, a bit of fresh air con. Ain't hey, too bad, loads of seats. Oh that's good. Because sometimes these these trains are absolutely packed. They are. <coughs> oh man. Oh, do we ever sit down on a train? Or, or, or on the BTS, the Sky Train. And we'd be getting off at Asok, so I wonder. Oh man, it's a new getting off. So I wonder if there'll be any ladies doing that when I walk past. We'll see. About 15 minutes, I reckon. Maybe 20. Exit. We have exited. It is seven minutes past nine. That was a really quick journey. As I'm now at Asok, <laughs> right here, I'm heading over there. There is the terminal 21. Hang on. Get in here. <laughs> Busy. It's an alright journey. Had a few smoke breaks. It's alright. Had a couple of beers. Which was also alright. <sighs> but now I've got to find my hotel. I think it's up the road where Sawyer Cowboy is. So we're going out this way, because where we come off at this junction, we're right at the Sawyer Cowboy Junction, that really, really busy road, which I will be at in just a few short moments. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I won't go in. 
Please insert. That won't go in. <laughs> I won't have it. <laughs> Security, mate. It's what he kept. No working. Won't let me out. Can let me out. <laughs> Can check ticket. Ticket. Not working. Oh, it's something. Uh, ticket, ticket already. You can try again. It's, it can you? Yeah. It's... Yay! Exit down there. Busy. Busy, busy, busy. I think that is the exit. It is. Yes, it is. Right there. And as I go down, I'll spy the tuk tuk. Because it's just what I need. Tuk tuk drive to the high hotel. <laughs> and then I'm going to dump all my gear, change my shirt, get rid of my silly hat, and come back to. Soy Cowboy for a happy ending. That's the plan. Man. I can see a took but I know it's in use. So I'm really looking for anything here. A tuk tuk, a taxi, or a motorbike. Or two motorbikes. Oh man, a motorbike. Tuk tuk. But where are they all? They're all usually <laughs> right here. Usually hordes of them, all hassling you. Oh man. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll have to hang here, mate, for a tuk tuk. Or a motorbike. Oh, mate. Just that. What? Yeah. Or a cab. Taxi. Taxi, when you go in the kilometre, it's not going to be much money, is it? Standing on the corner of a street. Getting it on, man. So I come over there. There. You see it? Saw a cowboy. Got to go to the hotel first, dump all the gear. Then we'll have that be ending. Tuk tuk man, <laughs> man. Oh, I've been in one of these for, for a long while. Have not, but we are off to the hotel. <laughs> 200 baht to go three kilometers. It's mad, mad. Ram. We had to wait a little while to get a tuk tuk. It was busy, busy night. And it is sad, you know. Just all right. <laughs> to ride about in the back of a tuk tuk. Well, I'm at the hotel. I'm sorry, at the tuk tuk. Really bad news. Could not find the hotel. So I'm round in circles. I'm not 1.2 kilometers from circumvert. I'm about seven or eight. And I've sent Gary up. Because <laughs> there's a hotel here. And I'm hoping this hotel. It's not. Oh man. Look, that's a tower block. Badge. We cannot find <laughs> a hotel. It's so pretty much a downer.
Where the GPS said the hotel was, nothing there, but down the road, just a cemetery. So I, I saw this place and thought, well, this must be it. Walk back, it's a little bit too big to be a hotel. But, <laughs> how come the GPS brought us all this way, man? We are so <laughs> out of luck. We're in the middle of nowhere. Hang on. This is a residence, I think. Sweaty Kep. Hotel 51. Hmm? Hotel. No, 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 no. You know hotel? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, you know High Hotel? High Hotel. What's their name? High, H I, High Hotel. I don't know what it is. You don't, not, not here, High Hotel? H I, H I, High Hotel. You want me map, man? Gary, you got your picture. This is hard work, I don't mind telling you. It's a motorbike driver, he should be able to, if, if we've got a picture. Can you bring your picture up on the phone? The motorbike guy might know where it is. High hotel. High, H I, high hotel. It's far? You mean map, 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 map. Yeah, come in, man. You know hotel close by? Yes, I know hotel, but I don't know high hotel. Okay, you, you know a hotel close? I can walk? Close? Where? Not close. We're fudged. Whoa! Walking the streets of Bangkok is not what I had planned at 20 past 10, 10 past 10, for Saturday night. No! But I have seen a man water in his hose. There is a man watering the garden. <laughs> Things you see at night, walk in the streets. Oh man. Now those people at that hotel were pretty helpful. The security guards, the two motorbike riders there, they did say that they know a hotel, but it's a kilometer and a half away. 19 minutes to be exact. <laughs> so that's where we're walking to. We walk in the streets to this hotel, which is about 500 meters away now. So we've done the kilometer, we've got the half to do. I don't know if they've got any rooms. They don't know how much it is. But we do know this hotel. It's a little bit out of town. So it might be within budget. We've got no choice, not really. Somewhere to stay for one night and then try and look for a hotel tomorrow night closer to Sukhumvit Road. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. And that microphone, that microphone, a snap fell off for the second time. So, oh, and there go the bag. <laughs> this is where, oh mate, I, I don't, I need me hands. I need all of them. Ah, oh, man. So I'm getting towards the hotel. Hopefully, They'll have two rooms at a reasonable rate. Still, get to see a part of Bangkok we haven't seen before. Walk the, walk the street. <laughs> oh man. Well, there is a shell garage half a kilometre from the flat. Don't know if they sell alcohol, because all I want is a happy ending. I want it to be set on Soy Cowboy drinking beer and looking at titties. Titties and beer is basically how my evening was gonna go. I don't know if it's gonna go at all. So, I think that is a hotel down there where the lights are on the left-hand side. That, so it looks a big enough hotel. It's out of town, so hopefully it'll be cheap. Oh man, be there in four minutes. 
good news or the bad news or the really bad news? Well, the good news is we are at the Princeton Park Suites. We are. And yes, a little bit above our pay grade. And there are no standard rooms. There is a deluxe room at 1,800 baht, which Gary said, yes, I'll have that. And the only other room they have is an executive room, which the lady said also 1,800 baht. So, mate, that is the most money I've ever spent on a room anywhere. But it is 7-Eleven <laughs> right next door. Hello. Hello. Boom. 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 Yeah, video. Video, yes. You too. Good man. Oh, man, look. <laughs> we have got a happy ending. Hello, my name is Pot. Pot is what? My name, my name is Pete Moss. Moss. My name is Pete Moss. Okay, Sean. 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 Kapoom. Boom. Boom. Fist bump. Boom. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Kapoom. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, I'm going in. I'm round to the... Excuse me. Ah, oh, will I get through? I need... I need this milk, darling, this fresh milk for my coffee in the morning. And I need, I'm oh, sorry, I need alcohol. <laughs> I do. For a happy ending. Will there be alcohol? There is. Will there be alcohol? I require. There is. <laughs> wow. That'll do me. Do I want any crisps? Well, not right now, but, excuse me, ladies, probably, yes. Well, I just need to pay for these. Cut boom. Boom. Give us a minute. All righty. 10, 15, 10, 16. I'm down here. I have the executive room, 14, at 10.05. I did just ask the lady, and she said yes. I can have free breakfast tomorrow. So there's 10. <laughs> Big hotel. But lucky we got a room. Can't believe how packed Bangkok was. And the reason the hotel was, we found out it was a fake, check this out, a fake booking on booking.com that we booked. It was fake. <laughs> right now, this is where I need so many pairs of hands. Let's go in there. All right. We go in. Oh, executive room. You guys wouldn't have seen anything like this <laughs> from me before. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just for one night, I've got my own flat. We have a sink. We have a freezer. We'll get them in there right now, geezer. Excuse me, we need one of them. Is that a bathtub? <laughs> okay, for 1.8K, one will be taking advantage of mm, a tiny little bathtub, maybe. Oh, there's a big mirror. There is. Toilet, three towels. Ah, we have a stove. <laughs> we do, there's a stove. Fridge, microwave sink a little dining area and look <laughs> we've got like an old granny room man cheers that is awesome it's non-smoking got my own internet right there oh man such a shame it's a non-smoking room <laughs> what am i gonna do but this is a little granny pad. And look at that, that is what it is. And I had a living room, I'm not like this. But, oh man. Oh, it's all right. After half day's travel, I need a big shower and everything. See if I can, man, bedroom. Dun, 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 dun. Bedroom looks all right. Telly in the bedroom. Oh, and that is, Oh man, I know it's for one night. It's a little bit beyond my principles, but it's comfy, comfy bed. Oh, we've got a big old window and a TV. 
in the bedroom. They've got some slippers, a hairdryer. Oh, man. So it's a bit swanky in my room. It's all right. The aircon is on. Oh, that, my friends, has been perhaps one of the longest days in travel. Oh, man. I've never had a false, fake booking on booking.com. Fake doesn't exist. There was nothing there. And the people said that they, they, they didn't know the hotel, but it was really weird because some of the taxi drivers, uh, they knew the high hotel, but they all say they know it. And then they put it in the GPS and get, mm, you know, they always tell you they know the place, man. Right? That's really bizarre. I've got some milk as well, fresh milk. So I don't have a cup of coffee in the morning. Even though a lady said I don't have breakfast, starts at six o'clock <laughs> till 10. I'm gonna take her up on her offer, but first things first. It's a nice, nice bit of furniture. Ah, oh, no smoking. Attention, beware, door locks. <laughs> oh man, we have a balcony. Oh mate, with a city view. Oh man. Okay, that's a fairly happy ending. It is. Weren't expecting this view. And there is the Sook and Vit area right over there. That area. Man. Oh, not a bad show after all. And I can stand out here and have a puff. It's all right. Oh, man, it's all right. So I suppose I'm going to rig my computer up to the telly and watch some TV. So guys, I hope you enjoyed oh, my return to Bangkok as much as I didn't. What a surprise. There you go, whenever you're traveling, I know people are all experienced, they've all got good advice, but uh, should have done this, should have done that, go here, go there, you're like, man, even when you know all that and you're doing the right thing, still, Stuff goes wrong. It's the, I don't know if it's the first time, but oh man, it's the first time I found it difficult to find a hotel. Oh, that is for sure. And then when I did find one, the closest one, 1 1.3 kilometers, that's what turned it on for me. Just a kilometer up the road from Sawyer Cowboy where I was gonna make a vlog tonight. And then to find out I'm eight kilometers away and I'm not paying a thousand baht, I'm paying 1,800. I'm paying for two nights to have one night. But you know what? Oh, it's 10 o'clock, well, half 10, so it's really late, well past the bedtime, but I am going to probably stay up for a couple of hours and watch a movie. I am. So cheers, guys. Mm. Until next time, au revoir.